Yo, what is up everybody? It's Jill again. Welcome back to another Naruto Reaction video here today. And today we got quite the special What If Battle by the Great Swat Kage. And as you can tell with the title, that is Minato versus Pain. So on one side we got Minato no Mikaze, you know, one of the great Hokages of the Hidden Leaf. And one of my personal favorites. And obviously one of the quickest shinobis to ever live. On the other side we got Pain, aka Nagato Uzumaki, a top three Akatsuki member. And one of the bosses of the Akatsuki. So this is a very intriguing battle. Both opponents have pretty particular skill sets as we all know you know pain with the renegon and minato with his blazing speed and the flying raiji so it's interesting to see how these these two would match up so i'm interesting to I'm, I'm interested to see what swag has to say about this one and how he breaks this one down personally but before we begin you know any loves really appreciate it. hit that like button turn on bell notifications to stay up to date with us truly and if you are new and you enjoy maybe your first time Missing with the kid. Hit that sub button, man, because once you do, you become part of the family forever. But let's not waste any more time. Screen. Let's see what Swag has to say today. How's it going, everybody? Swag what up? here, and welcome to today's video. Got another versus matchup for everybody. It's one that's been requested like a billion times. Everybody's been asking for Minato versus Pain for as long as I can remember. And in the past, I never found this battle that intriguing. I looked at it and I was like, eh, that, that wouldn't be that cool. Nobody would watch a video about that. And I'm kicking myself right now because I thought about it more today. And I, I asked myself, why didn't I like this? This would have been an awesome fight to see. And it's one that I definitely, definitely. like talking about. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, I've talked about Pain in mini versus video in the past, but the way he interacts with Minato is much different than how he interacts with many of his other potential opponents. Correct. With most other people, he has a handful of attacks that can just end the fight immediately, like Chibaku Tensei and Chaotic Shinra Tensei, and stuff like that won't be super effective against Minato because the guy can teleport. Depending on the range they're used from, both Chaotic Shinra Tensei and Chibaku Tensei can take a long time to hit their target. Right. Plenty of time for Minato to warp away from the battlefield and then Correct. come back. By the time he returned, the Six Paths of Pain would be noticeably weaker due to Nagato severely cut chakra supply, and the rest of the fight would be a lot easier for him as a result. The Paths of Pain can't be as aggressive against Minato as they can against many other people. He's one of the fastest ninja to have ever lived, and Correct. with that comes being incredibly slippery and hard to hit. One thing that's interesting about this battle, though, is while the Flying Thunder God Jutsu will be problematic for Nagato to deal with, one thing he could easily do to combat it is use the gravitational abilities of the Diva Path to change the positions and locations of Minato's Raijin Kunai. Bancho Kunin can pull the Kunai out of place, and Shinra Tensei can launch them to different locations throughout the battlefield. These dynamics are pretty important, and they're worth taking into account when discussing other aspects of the fight, which I'll start doing right now. So to keep things simple, I won't be taking Sage Mode or KCM into account at the beginning here. I'll get to them later, but for okay. now, this is base me. But there's one point I, I do want to make. He does have the ability to place a seal on an individual, like he did against Obito, 14-year-old Obito, when Obito attacked the leaf along with Kurama who he possessed with his Sharingan. So if he's able to use Flying Raijin and tag particularly the Diva Path, that would be quite problematic because he can't use, you know, Shinra Tensei, Almighty Push, Almighty Pull, whatever, to move his Kunai because the seal is on him himself. So I just want to also state that if Swaghar doesn't already do that later on versus the six pads of pain. Comparing him to Naruto, he's essentially a stronger version of him with the Flying Thunder God Jutsu instead of the Rasen Shuriken. While the Rasen Shuriken is obviously really strong, Flying Raijin is a lot more useful in a fight against pain, mostly because Minato can use it over and over, whereas Naruto is only able to use it a handful of times when Correct. pain. It also can't be absorbed by the Praetor Path, obviously, and since it isn't a massive moving projectile, it's a lot harder to track. As for everything else in Minato's arsenal, like Naruto, he's a master user of both the Shadow Clone Jutsu and the Rasen on, and it's shown that he's capable of summoning Gamma Bunta. Something else worth taking into consideration is his ability to summon the Shinigami. And while this may initially seem worthless, since stealing the soul of any of the Paths of Pain would do nothing to Nagato, I'll right. get into how it might be really useful later in the video. As I've said in previous videos of mine, Pain's arsenal is both vast and versatile, but I think the most important ability he has here is the shared vision present between the six paths. Most this definitely. will allow him to monitor Minato's teleportation far more effectively than anyone without the Rinnegan possibly could, with the exception of maybe sage mode users and sensory type ninja, thanks to the fact that as long as just one of the six paths sees where Minato ends up, all of them will be safe from a surprise attack or ambush. Now whether or not they'll actually be able to react to him is a completely different story. As I've said, Minato is incredibly fast, one of the fastest ninja to have ever lived, and not that the paths of pain are slow, but they're definitely not as fast as Minato is. Correct. What's more, they won't just have one of him to deal with. Like I said, he's very good at using the shadow clone jutsu, so with enough planning and the right approach, 
approach. Minato and a horde of his clones could easily overwhelm the six paths of pain with their speed alone. Now that said, pain also has a lot of ways that he can disrupt Minato during combat. The animal path can bring in enough summons to pose a pretty serious threat to Minato. And as it summons more animals, the field of vision shared by the paths and the summons of the animal path will continue to grow. The diva Correct. path can use Shinra Tensei to defend itself from clones and Bonsho Tanning to interrupt any clones attempting to attack one of the other paths. The Preda path can absorb the Rasengan if Minato or one of his clones attempts to hit it with one. And the Asura path can cause a whole bunch of problems with all of its crazy weapons and equipment. As is usually the case with Pain, a factor that could heavily affect the outcome of the fight is its location. The paths are at their strongest when in the Rain Village. Correct. So if Minato fights Pain there, he'll be in for a lot of trouble, especially because the usual handicap that the paths would have, wherein the Diva path wouldn't be able to use Chibaku Tensei or Chaotic Shinra Tensei for fear of destroying the Rain Village, wouldn't really matter because neither one would be very effective against Minato anyway. On the other hand, if Minato fought Pain in the Leaf Village, not only would the paths not be at their strongest, but Minato would also have access to a whole bunch of teleportation points thanks to the fact that it's very likely he laid out various kunai throughout the village. Definitely. And perhaps I actually was thinking Minato that as well. Landmarks we can imply that right safely. The last thing I want to discuss before I talk about how I feel the fight would play out is the importance of intel. Not necessarily in determining the outcome, but rather in determining how each fighter would interact with one another. The series very clearly implies that fighting against pain without knowing what he's capable of is a lot more dangerous than coming prepared. Of course, this idea doesn't apply to pain exclusively, but it's specifically true in his case because of how weird the toolkit provided by the Rinnegan is. If Minato goes into the fight blind, he's going to have a really hard time trying to figure out what's going on, just like Jiraiya did. Even when taking into consideration how smart he is, the Rinnegan's powers are numerous and bizarre, so it's inevitable that he's going to get caught off guard a handful of times before he finally right. gets a grasp on what pain can do. On the other hand, whether Nagato comes prepared or not is also pretty important. It won't make as much of a difference as the intel Minato may or may not have, but it'd still be a pretty major factor. Right. If Nagato goes in blind, he will without a doubt be caught off guard by Minato's ability to teleport, and at least one or two of the paths may go down as a result. If he knows what to expect, however, all he'd have to do is get an idea of how fast Minato is before he'd be able to use the shared vision of the paths of pain to create a pretty solid coordinated defense against any of his opponent's attempts to blitz him through teleportation. Now, realistically, it's pretty hard to think of a scenario where both of them end up fighting one another because there's only like a brief one year-ish window where Nagato is crippled and currently using the six paths of pain and Minato is also still alive. Right. Now, if they were to fight somewhere within this time period, neither of them would really know anything about the other. Pain might have some surface level Correct. knowledge of Minato's abilities thanks to some tips from Obito, but I find that unlikely because for Minato to be alive, he and Obito could not have fought yet, and it'd be a bit hard for Obito to sell the whole modera shtick if he went to Pain and said, yeah, I know what Minato can do, he used Correct. to be my teacher. Now, of course, he could say something along the lines of, oh, he's Konoha's famed yellow flash, everybody knows he can teleport, be careful if you fight him, but I can't see any reason for him to bring that up, unless he knew that Nagato would end up fighting Minato at some point. Another thing I should mention is, if they did fight in this time frame, it'd probably be a lot easier for Minato, because Nagato probably wouldn't be as experienced with controlling the pads. That is correct. Rinnegan. But for the sake of fairness, I'll just say that doesn't apply. This is prime Minato versus prime six paths of pain. Nagato is just as skilled at controlling them as he was against Jiraiya and the rest of the Leaf Village, and Minato is at his most powerful. Right, right. So if this fight did end up going down, and it took place in the time frame that I specified, it would be either A, in the Rain Village, because Minato was given some reason to travel there, perhaps to investigate. I mean, I don't think it's too unlikely for rumors to start spreading about a boy with the Rinnegan causing an uprising in the Rain Village that led to a civil war there between Hanzo and the Akatsuki. Jiraiya Correct. could even give Minato a tip before he leaves. Something like, I used to be that boy's teacher. The stories about the Rinnegan are true. Or B, it would take place in the Leaf Village, probably because Obito wants Nagato to travel there in his place, maybe even to get a glimpse of the power of the Rinnegan. But most importantly, of course, for the capture of Kushina. This would obviously catch Minato's attention and the two would end up fighting. If they were to fight in the Rain Village, I think it's reasonable to say that both of them would be going into the fight completely blind. Neither would have any insight into the other's abilities, but if they were to fight in the Leaf Village, Pain would have, like I said, surface level knowledge of Minato's abilities, such as the fact that he can teleport and maybe use the Rasengan or whatever. But aside from that, he wouldn't know too much. In the Rain Village, his lack of knowledge would be offset by the power boost he receives from fighting there, and in the Leaf Village, his possession of knowledge would be offset by Minato's home field advantage, which I discussed earlier, Correct. and the fact that the paths would be weaker than they would when fighting in the Rain Village. So, now 
now that we finally laid everything out, let's get into talking about how the fight would go down. The beginning would be pretty crazy to say the very least. The two would be playing 4D chess against each other, trying to figure out what their opponent is capable of and how they can exploit any weaknesses that show themselves. However, in both locations, Minato would be able to gather information much more effectively than Pain could, thanks to the hit and run tactics he'd be able to make use of with teleportation. In the Leaf Village, he'd have access to far too many vantage points for Pain to be Many, able to many ones. You, you, you can apply he has some everywhere. Village, he'd at least initially have the element of surprise provided by the fact that Payne has no idea who he's fighting against. And though this may be a bold claim, I honestly think that this alone will be enough to win Minato the fight. Even though it may take a while, he will eventually see everything the paths can dish out. And when that happens, he basically wins. Once right. Payne loses the element of surprise, there's practically nothing he can do that Minato can't react to, especially when considering his ability to use Shadow Clones. The Naraka path, which can repair the damage sustained by the other five paths of Payne, is shown to be not very durable at all. It was almost destroyed by a single Rasengan from Konohamaru, and since Minato is obviously much more powerful than Konohamaru, I imagine that one of his Rasengan would probably destroy it, definitely. Completely. And once he gets rid of that one, though I do acknowledge the Paths of Pain are strong, it's just a matter of time before he takes care of the rest. This is especially true if we take Sage Mode into consideration, Oof. and even though Minato claims that he's not very good at using Senjutsu, immediately after he did, he claimed closed his eyes for like two seconds, opened them back and he was up, in and sage suddenly mode. he was yep. in perfect yep. sage mode. His Senjutsu can't be that bad. And if he uses it against Pain, I'm pretty sure it's an easy win for him. One thing I briefly mentioned earlier, and I'm not sure if it's relevant, is Minato's ability to summon the Shinigami. Now, this might not have any effect on the fight whatsoever, but I wanted to bring it up because I think the way it could be used in this fight is pretty interesting. When Hiruzen fought Orochimaru, he had Shadow Clones summon the Shinigami to seal the souls right. of the reincarnated first and second Hokage. Now, Minato couldn't do this to the Six Paths of Pain because they're not Edo Tensei. They don't have a soul for the Reaper to steal. They're yeah, just, they're just vessels, right? Transmits yeah, Chakra correct. Through. But it may be possible, although it isn't likely, for Minato to sever the connection between Nagato and the Paths with the Reaper. And even if he can't do that, he'll definitely discover that the Paths of Pain don't have a soul to steal. And from that, he may be able to extrapolate that they're being controlled by an outside force. I won't talk about KCM since, one, I'm pretty sure the outcome is fairly obvious, and two, using Edo Minato against the Pads of Pain is just highly fair. unrealistic, it right? More fair yeah. To hit him up against Edo Nagato, and that's a much tougher fight to decide. So if you guys want me to talk about it, I may. Yeah, that's a whole different story. The There's and infinite that, chakra, all, all that stuff. So, as always, thank you guys for watching the video. All Great video. Time. If you have any suggestions or you want to leave your thoughts on the video, make sure to do that in the comments below. Make sure you have a great rest of the day. And until all right, peace out, Swag. You later, Swag Kage out. Bye. All right, now the great video by Swag, by the way, but I wanted to let that video finish. It was kind of short. But I definitely have to give my two cents here, okay? Now, like I said, which Swag didn't even touch on, as we saw, Minuto can play seals on individuals like he did against Obito when he fought 14-year-old Obito. And it even lasts after death. Like, you know, when, when Edo Tensei Minuto came, the seal was still there and he used it against Obito. You know, I believe it was against Tentel Jinchuriki Obito. Now, if he gets that on the diva path, man, like, quickly, now... If the rest see it, because, yeah, they have, you know, a basically an infinite plane of vision, right? Because all six, all their vision is, it's all one, right? Now, what would they do? Would they destroy the diva path? I mean, they can't afford to lose him. He's the only one that, you know, the most useful against Minato, right? Arguably. But, yeah, they'd, they'd be fucked. Now, Minato's flying Raijin plus his sage mode would be quite problematic. And if they were to fight in the leaf, man... He's just too, he's too dominant. He's in a, in, in a position that is too dominant for even the si six paths of pain to deal with. Now, you know, the Astro path, the animal path, those would not be a problem. You know, the, the most problematic one would probably be the diva path, right? He's probably the strongest, probably the best at Taijutsu, and he's still not on Minuto's level. I mean, that flying Raijin, man, it's quite the X factor. Now... If he's maybe he could seal all of them, you know how fast this guy is with sage mode. We don't even know the full extent of how fast his reaction time is in sage mode. Now we can assume that it, if we to, if we were to assume that his time limit with sage mode is similar to Naruto's, then he has five minutes. You know how much five minutes is to Minuto? That's nothing. He he can get all kind. I mean, that's plenty. Sorry, is what I meant to say. That's plenty to him with flying Raiji. You know, the sky's the limit with this guy. So. If they're in the leaf, he's going to tag one of them with a seal. 
and probably rush, you know, just rush Sing in their ass right away, especially if it's a Diva path. Now, I kind of disagree with Swag when he said without Intel, Minato would have a tough, tough time because Minato, now to be fair, is only one opponent. When he fought Obito, he figured out Kamui like that. It, it took no time. It took one brief encounter for Minato to figure out Obito's ability. It was effortless. He's like, okay, this guy phases through, and apparently I have a very small window to tag him. And he tagged him. He tagged him, obviously, as we all saw. He beat Obito in a tough battle, by the way. Obito gave him a run for his money, to be fair. But in this one, I believe he's very cautious. He knows what the Renegon is. He's heard of the myth, you know, how Garomo, the god of, you know, the, the father of Ashinobi had it. Obviously, he's not going to be going in there, you know, head first, just charging the fucking paths. He's, he knows that's stupid. So I guarantee you, he won't do that. He's going to be very cautious. He's going to use flying, rising to the fullest extent, and maybe even use level two or whatever, you know, those weird jutsu names that he has, like Fukushuku Senju, something like that. Like all those higher level flying, rising abilities, flying or thunder god, he's going to use those. Because he, he realizes what the Renegon is. Jiraiya is probably going to tell him, hey man, this is of biblical proportions. You can't make, you cannot slip up. And I guarantee you, he won't slip up. Now, none of them are quick enough to catch him. That's the problem for them, right? So he's just too quick. His deducing ability is second to none almost. Just seeing him against Obito. Now, I know that's a small frame. You know, that's, that's not a big frame to go based off of. That's not a lot of framework to go based off of. That's only one battle, right? But also see him against the Raikage and all that. This guy's his reaction time, I imagine it being amplified with Sage Mode. Plus Flying Rising. This guy's going to be damn near impossible to hit unless you're fucking Madara or Adult Sasuke or, you know, Hokage Naruto. Those are like the only guys that are going to tag him. So I just think Pain would be overwhelmed with the sheer speed and ability and skill of Minato. And plus that, the mental, you know, the deducing ability of Minato. Now, I'm not trying to downplay pain here. Pain is tough. You know, pain is extremely tough. But even the, the small time frames that he gives, the Diva Path specifically, I believe it's five seconds or something like that. That's nothing to, that's nothing to Minato, man. That's nothing. Like, especially if he puts a, a seal on Diva Path, on the Diva Path, it's over. He's going to get him. You know, all the other ones are dead, man. I mean, the one that absorbs Ninjutsu. He might slip up and maybe throw a sang on him and the guy absorbs it. He'll never do it again. He'll never do it again. Um, the only thing that'd be a problem for paint for excuse me for Minato would be the sheer numbers. They'd have to crap they'd have to tra trap him, right? Which would basically be impossible if he's in sage mode. Because he's obviously he's stronger. I'm sure his sage mode we can imply is relative to Naruto, right? So he could throw those those rhinos, those animals out of the way. He can even summon Gamabunta, he could summon the toads to help him out if he needs to, similarly, as we all know. He did it against um, Obito and Kurama when, you know, they were having trouble with Kurama, who was destroying the goddamn leaf village, the Nine Tails. So we can imply he could summon them, similar to Naruto when he faced pain in the leaf village. Now, if it's in the rain village, it's a little different, right? They're at their strongest. They're at their peak. They're at their peak, right? But I, I just don't think much much changes, right? I just, honestly, I'm trying to trying to figure out what pain could do. Now, you know, in an infinite domain of scenarios, like I always say in every what if battle, what pain could do, because anything is possible, is maybe possibly catch Minato slipping if he could time it just right with the flying rising, and catch him maybe with a you know with an almighty push or something of that sort, and just get him within the grasp of the path, you know, the, the path that takes your soul, maybe. But even then in Sage Mode, he's just going to easily get out of that guy's grip and just probably smash that, pa that path to bits in one punch. I mean, we saw what Naruto did to the past in Sage Mode. You know, so we got to imply with Minato being a perfect Sage, clearly, as we saw with him literally going in Sage Mode like that, I mean, damn, he's good at it, clearly. Although, you know, even though he's downplaying himself, he'd have to capture Minato and have, you know, an ample amount of time to take his soul. I just don't see him beating him in, in battle. I really don't see him killing him. The astral path wouldn't do shit. You know, the animal path, I'm sure Minato might attack the animals, the summons or whatever, and see that it doesn't do anything to them to just keep, you know, 
multiplying. So he'd go after the, the animal path itself. That wouldn't be hard to deduce at all, at all. So honestly, man, I think Minato claps. I'm going to say eight to possibly nine out of 10 times with mid difficulty. I think pain wouldn't be a huge, huge, huge threat in my opinion. He'd be a threat because he does have Renegon. Um, now, Chewbacca Tensei, I want to speak on that. He could just fly and rising out of that shit. You know, with that fly and rising, like I say, it's the X factor in this battle, dude. Anything that Payne has, he'll get out of it, basically. Unless he just catches him slipping and he kills him straight up. Like, that's the only possible scenario, you know. But with that Sage mode, with fly and rising, with his deducing ability being almost second to none, it's damn near impossible, man. It's damn near impossible. Um, And I'm... I'm really trying to find something that Payne could do in this scenario. I just, even with Intel, what is he going to do? Is he going to find a strategy by himself to deal with Minato's pure speed and deducing ability? You know, I don't, I don't see him winning in almost any scenario. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. You know, in an infinite domain of endless possibilities, it's possible that he could beat Minato. But in the vast majority, he loses. You know, Minato could place a seal on the pains, around the pains, you know, you can do all kinds of things to these guys, you know, it's just, it's a clap, I'm sorry, it's a clap, and Minato is quite the shinobi, you know, I know there's some people that don't realize what he is, he's quite the shinobi, you know, so that's my take on it, you know, I'm really trying to think of something that Pain could do against Minato, but I just, I just can't, they'd have to injure him. That's the only thing they can do, and that's damn near impossible for most people. Um, I don't know. I just they couldn't even hurt Naruto, so, you know, Sage Naruto, who's who's still green. You know, he's a, he's a kid still. He's still a teenager, and yeah, he's improved vastly at that point. From that point, right? He improved a lot up until that point, even with his ability to, to analyze, you know, certain battles against certain opponents. But Minato is. On another level at that point you know he's he's minato so yeah guys that's my best take on it um if you disagree let me know maybe you think pain does win maybe one of you guys convinced me otherwise so please let me know i like to see the discourse i like to engage in discourse with y'all when it comes to what if battles but this was very intriguing and kind of just speaks to the level of shinobi that minato namikaze is now no disrespect to pain that guy's a monster a monster now like and like swag said Edo versions is a completely different story. You know, I'm sure Nagato could probably do some biblical proportion, almighty push and fucking destroy a continent or something. Who knows what that guy's capable of? The Edo Tensei Nagato. But then, but then again, Edo Tensei Minato could spam flying rising like a, there's no tomorrow. Just boom, 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 like all damn day, you know? And that would be interesting, but that's a whole different, another topic. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one, but that's going to wrap it up. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments. It could be Naruto. It can be non-Naruto. Um, I said this in the in the other reaction that I posted today. I will be posting more often now that I have more time on my hands personally. So stay tuned for more weekly uploads. But yeah, I love your recommendations. You guys always seem to deliver when it comes to recommendations. And I'm going to try my best to deliver as far as content. But I love you all for the support. I'm so glad for, you know, for the channel growing. And together, let's make this a lit channel where we just... We get lit and we enjoy some discourse about anime or whatever else we're talking about. But I'll catch you in the next one. This is Jitter Gay signing out. Peace.